Whether you're here, and by here I mean New York City, for the first mm. time, or you're used to city life, understanding the rules of the concrete jungle are essential to your survival here. That's right. So here to help us understand the do's and the don'ts of the Big Apple is etiquette expert Micah Meyer. Micah, welcome. I'm intrigued by this because I have a lot <laughs> of issues with people around me in New York City. Uh, thank you for Not having me. Not me, them. But I, don't, I feel like you don't know these rules unless you've lived here or you've gotten in trouble for them. True. Right? Precisely. True. Precisely, <laughs> precisely. Yeah. So can we just, let's start off generally speaking. Okay. Etiquette yeah. rules. Do. Do help lost looking yeah, tourists. Yes or no? Yes, I think so. I We've all been a tourist somewhere. I think it's really, really nice. The, the I think if you can just, sometimes they just need a little help. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, why not? It's we, we are known to be tough New Yorkers, but we are very kind, hospitable people mm -hmm. as well. Um, yeah. But I think it, that's important yeah. for sure. And I think, like you said, put yourself in their shoes. When right. you go to a foreign city that you're not used to and you're looking around, you need somebody yeah. to help you. Exactly. Right? This is a massive city. We forget right. that because we're always running around. But right. yeah. Both, both all right, what about the celebrities? Don't. You don't don't bother celebrities or get your phone I out. Tell, oh, I tell I tell strangers don't ask him to take a selfie no, because he's I'm not going to do it. Refuse. He's <laughs> just not going to do it. Please, somebody ask him. No. It's, I think so. I mean, I think here that's the beauty about New York City. We see yeah. celebrities mm. dining and walking down the street, but it's also they're in their homes. They're not working. So I would say when they're working, that's one thing. But mm -hmm. in a regular context with their children or just walking down the street, we want to give them their space and, and not invade that privacy. And to that end, about recording or asking for photos mm. of a celebrity. What about strangers? Are they fair game or no? Especially I, if they're doing. If a stranger doing something weird, I, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna put this oh, on. Oh, I know, I know. Do you know? I I think no. I think definitely yeah. no. It's nice because a lot what of people. What if What if you do it on the sly? I still think no okay, because fine. people are making money. They're like they have their business going. You know, that actually happened to me once when I was, you know, doing my little manners videos on my mm -hmm. on my TikTok and my Instagram, mm -hmm. which I always do, and somebody was behind and so I just waved. It was like, hey. <laughs> but you know, it's my business. Right. Um, so I think be respectful. It's not nice. You don't want to end up on one of those you know well, right right I was gonna say, but there go half the social media posts influencers you know. in the wild I was just gonna say I was waiting see I was trying to follow the etiquette because that's all I was thinking in my mind was that account and I was like if she says it first yes so yes you don't want to end up on influencers in the wild on there okay right. don't end up Watch. on that website right. Please, yeah. never um, what a, this is hysterical because this has happened yeah. to me with our producer Victoria yes I am shouting you out <laughs> when you're hailing a cab are you like a <sighs> salmon going against the mm. current do you go upstream, upstream yes. and tell a truck driver not to go down 42nd? I don't go upstream. I think it's a no. I think it's a no because what if you have been waiting on that block for 10 minutes and one person just jumps ahead of you mm -hmm. and gets that cab? Mm -hmm. It doesn't seem very fair. It's happened to me so many times. Okay. So I would say it's a no. The other one, you know, and I've been in some of these fast food kind of places you're waiting in line. Know your order mm -hmm. before you get there instead of Oh yes. Makes me crazy. Oh yes. You've had ten minutes to go over your even longer. Sometimes. <laughs> exactly. And then so know your order. Even go on the app, look at the menu. Yeah. When you get to the front, be ready to order. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is for the bodega too. If you're getting a bacon yeah. and cheese, yes. don't suddenly oh you know what has to <laughs> be today. Yeah. <laughs> this uh, this I've been noticing a lot because we're in the middle of vacation season. Okay. I'm walking down the street and I am bobbing and weaving because there are folks that have taken up the whole sidewalk. Yes. Do I yell at them? I always say, take a stroll through Central Park, but not on the, uh, not on Fifth Avenue. Right. So I, I don't yell at them, but I just say, excuse me, and make sure they know, mm -hmm. because they might even know, you know, they're looking around, they're, sure. right. but I still am respectful, but it's, it, yeah, I think just move to the sides, it's, you know, I think that's really important. It's an excuse me, and then you bowl them over, is that how I mean you do it? I mean a little bit sometimes. <laughs> Escalators from too. the Bronx, that's why. Yeah. Right? Good yeah. Point. yeah. Good point. Well, it rains here a lot. Umbrellas are up, umbrellas are down. What's the umbrella etiquette when you're out on the street? Okay, so out on the street, all I want you to remember is when you're walking by, you want to lift the umbrella when you go over somebody. So if you're passing, absolutely fine, but umbrella goes over yeah. and to the left or to the right, to the right. And also when you're when you walk into a building, if they give you those long the thing. protectors, yeah. it's to, so that the, the the water doesn't go all over right. the lobby and then you slip and fall. So umbrella etiquette is important, especially in the subway too. Put the umbrellas away. Keep the water. Well, yeah. I was just going to get to that. So, real quick, sidewalk etiquette. Politely ask people to move out of the way. Yes. Your umbrella. Don't open it in front of people. Yeah. 
up, high above the sky. High above the sky. Even when you're five nothing like me. Yeah, for you it might be yes. a little tough in some spots. I, I do try. Away the side, away from people. Exactly. Okay. You mentioned mass transit. So what do we do on the bus? Are we bringing that wet umbrella with us on the bus? What's, I mean, talk to us about this bus etiquette. So what I do, I shake it all out. Get it mm -hmm. all out as much as you can. Yeah. Wrap it up so it's streamlining. The, the water is coming mm -hmm. out. And then you do the best you can. I actually have an umbrella cover that I put in before I go on the bus. I got it on Amazon. What? Just a couple dollars. Yeah. What about what triggers deciding giving up your seat or not giving up your seat? What's the proper etiquette in that? If anybody ever needs a seat, you give it up. If anybody yeah. is less able than you in any way, you give it up. So mm -hmm. it could be an elderly person, a pregnant person, somebody who has a cane, somebody who just looks like they need a seat. Yeah. Right. Just give it up. Yeah. But, but to that, as a as a, a male, I kind of I'm old school. Mm -hmm. So it's I would very just chivalrous. I would <laughs> tend to just offer it up to a woman of, of right. any age, not necessarily that she couldn't stand. So. Would that be offensive to some women? Um, no, I, I, I don't think so. I think it, what would be offensive is, is if you pointed out she was pregnant, for, for, and maybe she wasn't. Mm -hmm. So oh, I would just get up. If you think somebody bad. needs a seat, a just one. get up. Right. And, and and just walk away yeah. so they have the seat and maybe mm -hmm. you don't have to make a point of like here take my seat. Yeah. Your condition, just, yeah, you don't want right. to say it. Don't just, add that and, to it. Yeah, that and would then be a she says, oh, thanks, I'm, thanks I'm four for months nothing. postpartum. <laughs> or, yeah. And then you get the umbrella you know where that she's still food last night. Exactly, yes. exactly. Um, so talk to us about eating in the theater. Is okay, it, so my I mean, take, they have a concession stand but there. This is my take. In all fairness, my take is if they sell it there, it's okay to eat it there. Okay. Right? You don't bring in things externally. It could be too loud. But you might get shushed. It might, I are, got shushed. You got shushed. You got shushed? I was starving. Who shushed you? <laughs> A lovely woman sitting next to me. She tried to do it in the most kind way possible. Okay. okay. Admittedly, it was peanut M and M's. A little okay. crunchy. It's it's the wrappers. But that I was yeah. pouring oh. it into my lap. Yeah. And then eating it like this. So you were even trying. I was respectful. trying my darndest. Okay, I think, you know, sometimes you're always going to meet those people that are never going to be happy. Mm -hmm. I think you do your best, but it, it, they give you, you know, they give you food for a reason. They give right. you food. As long as you're doing it in a respectful, you're not right. constantly. Yeah. Take a few breaks. You know, I think you're fine. <laughs> Take a breaks in between. Don't put yeah. the trough out and just start going. <laughs> yes. through. Well, never mind that. There was also a couple of rows behind me. A fella who had his phone on a hundred. Oh, oh that's, so that can be helped, and that's rude. We need to get you on. Yes, we do. Over there. Yes, we do. Straighten or or videoing of any kind. Mm -hmm. um, years ago, do you remember somebody got called out? Um, do you remember Neil Patrick Harris? He stopped yes. mm -hmm. the production and called out the person. Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So you just you don't want to be that person. This just opened up a whole yeah, we have new. Another, <laughs> we have another, another part. We need to part two. Please come Seriously. back. Please come really back and tell us. All, right. And also, right. how you got into this business uh, is phenomenal. It involves a man yeah. overseas. A if that isn't a tease for you to come back, <laughs> I don't know what is. Oh, Micah, thank, thank you so much for joining us. These were very helpful tips, and we definitely took some notes. Of course, we're going to post all of these tips to our website at pix11.com.